Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Capricorn? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish you guys happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. For those of you guys that are single, do not despair. This is a perfect time right now with Venus retrograde to really pamper yourself and show yourself or give yourself some love. Um, you can always go get yourself a nice bottle of wine, some amazing dinner, and a good movie to watch. Um, definitely nurture and pamper yourself uh, right now, Capricorn, um, especially on that day. Um, if you're feeling a little bit down or you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, um, it's time to decompress. So I would highly encourage you guys to do so. Anyways, for those of you guys that follow our online um, Tarot Lessons 101, we're going to be back on schedule this coming Sunday. I want to apologize. We've been extremely busy and life has just been pulling us towards different directions. So we're getting back on track. Um, also, we do have a, a lot of your favorites, um, ritualized uh, soaps. Um, that are going to be restocked in the month of March. You guys definitely stay tuned for that. Let's get into your reading Capricorn. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell so that you can get notified of all the new videos that are going to be coming or going online or going up. <laughs> all right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading Capricorn. How the hell are you Capricorn? How is this Venus retrograde treating you? I know if you are like myself, you are definitely feeling it. People coming out of the woodwork, people reaching out that you haven't heard in years from. Um, but also, it's giving us a lesson here, a lesson about how we want and need to be loved, understood, and supported. So use this time, Capricorn. This could be in relationships. You may be tested right now. Um, but it is crucial and important for us to realize, are they really on the same path that we are? Or do we need to, do we need to reanalyze? Is this really working out for ourselves? You know, very important, major, major changes. All righty. And look at that. <laughs> we have the justice card flying out. All right. Let's start off energy you have the sick uh, sorry you have the chariot cart um very quick movement a lot of momentum that is going to be that you're going to be experiencing i want to say um they're giving me from the 12th of february all the way to the end probably beginning of march there's going to be a lot of momentum a lot of um quick movement wherever you felt like you've been stuck or things haven't really moved forward the way you would have wanted that's definitely going to start to happen for you guys. And again, I'm getting the number 12. So it could be a representation of February 12th and thereafter. Um, there's going to be a lot of movement. The chariot always indicates success, um, but it also speaks about being empowered, knowing where you're going. And again, with Venus retrograde, it is important for us to internalize where are we at right now in regards to relationships, in regards to our business, in regards to our finances, um, every aspect of our lives and realizing are we where we want to be? If we're not, um, what is it that you're doing Capricorn to get you to where you want to be? Are you putting the effort? Are you going out of your way to make things happen? Or are you just sitting there uh, complaining about why things are not going your way. The chariot is that of being empowered. It's that of knowing your power. The chariot leads um, not with any reins or anything, but by its source of will, by its willpower. So again, it's about believing in yourself, being confident in what you're doing and your purpose for doing it, having clarity of that. Your next card here is the Page of Cups. So for some of you guys, love may be in your surroundings. For some of you guys, there is a revelation that's coming through and it's coming through very quickly. It could be a person that is already in your surroundings or a person that already knows you. Um, I'm getting that there has been almost, if you guys are or will be dealing with a revelation, someone confessing or professing their love to you, I feel that this is a person that has been seeing you from afar for quite a while. Um, I think they've been 
uh, very inactive or perhaps they took a while to take some type of action, some type of um, some type of move towards you. And I feel that a lot of it has to do with them feeling that they were like the timing was wrong or the timing was off. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a person that was on their pursuit of goals, accomplishing goals. And I feel like now is the perfect time. So there are some revelations that are going to be unfolding for you, Capricorn, in regards to love and romance. All right, my lovely. So we have the Justice card here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Whoa, Capricorn. We have the High Priestess here. I'm getting all excited. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn myself. So <laughs> Page of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Four of Wands. My lovelies, for a lot of you guys, there are, if you feel like you've been in this constant struggle of trying to move forward and it almost feels like things are just coming up or things just like there's an ever ending, you know, having to deal with different things. Be grateful and be blessed, Capricorn, because the reason for this is spirit is propelling you to not only a new cycle of abundance and opportunity, but a new cycle of major stability. The Justice card indicates, you know, making choices, making decisions about where we're at right now and where we want to go. But it's also having the clarity, the understanding of what has kept you uh, or held you back. This is relationships, connections, friendships, uh, even family members situations that are no longer serving you the justice um the justice card is also um let me show you it's holding the sword right the sword of truth of honesty of brutal honesty and it is about balancing every single aspect of your life right now capricorn what's working for you and what's not working for you and not hesitating, whatever it is that's not working for you, not hesitating to bring or strike that sword down to cut any attachments, any links, any chains that are keeping you from your truest potential, which is that of financial stability, of success, of abundance, of prosperity, of opulence, of health, of knowing what it is that you bring to the table when it comes to relationships, when it comes to partnerships. Do not listen to others tell you your expectations are so high or you're expecting too much from your partner or from your prospects. The nine of pentacles is that of the empress in, in the minor form. So the empress is all about abundance. It's all about fertility. I will help you grow if you in turn reciprocate that energy and the nine of pentacles is no exception it is about having in abundance and having no problem whatsoever sharing that abundance sharing that stability but of course you only share it with those that you know without a doubt are reciprocating that type of energy the nine of pentacles is embracing for some of you guys, embracing your singlehood, no longer complaining about being single, no longer complaining about, I can't find the right person, or I just don't connect with people, or I just haven't found the one that, you know, just speaks to me, etc., etc. The Nine of Pentacles is embracing. It's knowing I don't need anyone else to make me whole. I don't need anyone else to make me complete. I am complete. Therefore, because I am complete, I am able to share and give as much love as I am willing and capable of receiving. So in essence, what they're telling you here, uh, Capricorn, is that there is major transformation that is going to be uh, unfolding for you. You also do have here the high priestess. The high priestess is that of the divine feminine energy. It's that of knowing the power that you possess. It is that of no doubt, no fear, letting go of uncertainty. Don't worry about 
you know, what it is that, you know, where am I going to be at 10 years from now? No, it's asking you, you know where you're going as long as you have clarity of what it is that you want. You will achieve it. The high priestess is the all-knowing. The I listen to my intuition and I will be led by my intuition. It is about being in your power and knowing your power. The page of pentacles here, it's been a long journey, but this long journey is ultimately you're going to be able to look back and realize how much you've grown, how much you've expanded, how much you have, you know, um, how much you have leaped forward. Major transformative energy here, the tower. The tower is between the high priestess and the four of wands. Whatever it is that you thought at some point in your life that was stability or what you thought stability was, it's going to be challenged. Why? Because is it something that you've always wanted or is it something that you were taught this is how it is and you're letting go of anything that is no longer serving you? And that includes you know, if as an example, if you were raised in a very dysfunctional relationship or partnership or family and you felt growing up up until now, you know, am, am I not worthy of stability? Oh, well, I never had that in childhood. Perhaps I don't deserve it now. What spirit is telling you is no, you got to relinquish yourself from past chains. OK, this is on a grander scale of things. It's letting go of of ancestral um chains chains that have kept you know a, a cycle you know as an example um you could have experienced that a lot of the women in your life are very self-independent and for some reason it just never worked out in regards to love or vice versa um they could have been blessed in having stability in regards to relationships, but they've never fully experienced abundance or success. And it's almost like because I experienced that or because I'm, I live that in early childhood, you grow up to believe that this is your reality. And what spirit is telling you is, no, my dear Capricorn, it is up to you to create your own destiny. It is up to you to relinquish those chains, what keeps you bounded, what keeps you from fully flourishing to your major potential. But you need to believe that in yourself and believe that it is that you are worthy of it. It's going to, your belief systems are going to be challenged. This could be for some of you guys, um, you know, trying to find a different path in regards to spirituality for others of you. It could be, you know, like I said, um, coming to the realization that you are a catch and that you're worthy of um, finding the same, you know, stop settling, stop, you know, dating below what you deserve. And I don't mean this in, in, in a material sense. What they're saying is, you know, stop settling with immature people or people that you feel the need you need to work on or you need to help them become the person that they're meant to be because that's how you're viewing them. You need to learn to accept people for who they are. And if you yourself are emotionally mature, you are stable. And as an example, trying or open to finding love, find someone that is going to compliment you, that is in the same path or wavelength as you, Capricorn. Stop making excuses for other people. Oh, they had a tough life. Maybe that's why they're unstable. Well, did you have a tough life, my dear Capricorn? Because I do not know a single Capricorn that has not dealt with some bullshit, <laughs> some hard stuff. So again, I mean, your ruling planet is, you know, Saturn, the karma planet. So there's no excuses for trying to baby or trying to guide someone to their potential. No, what they're telling you now is do things with purpose, Capricorn. This is dating. This is choosing careers, jobs, positions that are of a purpose that are going to get you to where you need to be. Stop settling or leveling down. It's time for you to attract or bring towards you what you truly deserve. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guidance. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.